hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to quickly show everyone on how to subdivide a landed property into equal subdivisions using autocad civil 3d so this is a layout perimeter and my client wants me to subdivide it into five equal parts without load inside of it it's just five equal parts so it's for a family and they want to you know share their property into five so this is very important for all land surveyors and other feeds who make use of autocad civil 3d so let's get started so first thing to do is to load in this subdivision template by me all right this template has some setup that has been done at the background it is called the equal subdivision template by easy so you should open this template all right so that you can easily subdivide your landed property into equal parts without any stress at all if you are in need of this template please join the whatsapp community through the link under the description and make your request please terms and condition is applied thank you so this is a template and the next thing to do is to load in your perimeter make sure this is joined with the code line tool so you click on the perimeter of the entire land you right click come to keyboard then you click on copy you come to the equal subdivision template by easy you right click here on the work environment come to clipboard then paste to original coordinates if you can't see your landed property you zoom extent so this is the property all right so when you are at this stage the next thing to do is to create parcel from objects by coming to parcel create parcel from objects you click on that when you click on that you click on the perimeter of your property then you click on enter so the advantage of this template is some background settings has been done so you don't need to do much so just make sure that your parcel style is on property all this is on default your area label style make sure it is on name square meter and acres however this will definitely be on the default all right if you are making use of my template so if you want the bearing and distance to appear on the subdivided portions you will check on this however i don't need that in the course of this video okay then make sure if this is unchecked make sure it is checked then you click on ok so automatically it is going to bring out the property id and the area in square meters and in acres so that's the thing to do at this stage the next thing to do is to come to your command line then you search for calculator that is quick calculator you click on that it is going to bring out the calculator will do for you then you zoom to the area of the entire property you can see it on the screen it is 167 312.09 meters square that is square meters so if you want the software to subdivide it into five equal parts you come to your calculator to do your calculation so the entire area is this so i'm just going to type that here which is 167 312.09 remember it's in square meters then slash so i want it to be divided into five equal parts all right divided by five then you click on equals so this is the area in square meters of each portion if it is divided by five okay so you copy it to two decimals so after the decimal point you copy it to two decimals please do not approximate copy it to two decimals and you minimize so that's what you have to do next okay then the next thing is to come to parcel then you come to parcel creation tools so it is going to bring out these default settings that is the advantage of using the template you are going to see the minimum area in square meters so what you have to do here is to paste the copied area earlier which is in two decimals you paste it here at the minimum area so you paste it there then the minimum frontage make sure this is on 0.5 however if you are using my template you will be having this on default if you are not you make it 0.5 use minimum frontage as offset we make it yes frontage offset 0.5 minimum width 
minimum depth 0.5 use maximum depth make sure this is on low use maximum depth leave this at default multiple solution preference use shortage frontage click on that all right automatic layout make it to be on if yours is on off make it to be on all right remainder distribution click on the last option redistribute remainder that is to say you want it to be on equal portions and that is what you have to do here then you come to this icon here this drop arrow click on it then click on sideline create when you click on sideline create it is going to bring out these options for you there's nothing to do much here if yours is not on property make it to be on property your area label style make it to be name square meter and acres then there's nothing else to do then you click on ok then you click on the test of this when you click on it make sure your osnap is activated therefore the idea of the subdivision is if you want the cp3d to subdivide your portion via this format that is vertically you will only need to define the frontage from this edge here only however i want it to be subdivided via the horizontal format so what i will do is to check from here make sure you are going clockwisely all right depending on the shape of your property so i'll click here then i'm going to define from here to this place then you click on that so you are going to see the arrow defining so i want it to be divided these portions all right so that is the idea so when you are done defining the frontage you click on enter automatically you are going to see your software dividing your portion into the exact portion and exact numbers all right so i have one two three four five here so make sure that this last option is checked cross check that so that it can give you the equal amount of portions so when you are done with that you click on yes so you can now zoom so you can see 8.27 acres and you can see the area in square meters it is equal at each portions equal at each portions so guys that is how to subdivide landed property into equal portions you can as well do your calculation in case you want to subdivide into three portions or four portions it's just the same principle just watch the video over again do your mathematics paste the area then do the same thing However, let me quickly divide this into three portions. So when you are done, press on your escape key on your system to exit the command. Alright, so I want to subdivide this same area into three portions. You can see I just copy selection. The area is still the same thing. The mathematics is just going to be different. So I want it to be into three portions that is between three families then i'm going to click on equals and here is the area in square meters remember copy to two decimals minimize come to parcel parcel creation tools then this time around you paste all right nothing else to do just come to this nothing else to do here then you click on the test then you define the frontage and click on enter confirm to make sure it is on the last option then you click on yes then you exit the command by clicking on escape twice so you can see here it has divided into three equal portions three equal portions so that is how to use civil 3 d to subdivide landed property in equal portions so guys that's just it if you find this video informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon and share to as many as possible if you are in need of the equal subdivision template make your request via the water community terms and condition is applied thank you see you in the next video